G'day guys, today we're going to be talking about warm white versus cool white. Now we have a blog on our website which has been well received worldwide so I thought I'd make a short video on YouTube just to go through that a little bit further. Um, choosing the right colour temperature is absolutely crucial. So if it's a special occasion like a wedding you might want a nice warm white uh, to create extra mood and ambience and then if you want a real bright lively feel you might have like a cool white. So. It all depends on the application, the area, but at the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference. Some people swear by warm white, some people swear by daylight. It's really personal preference, but in certain applications, it's definitely useful, especially work areas, you want something a little bit brighter. So um, you'll notice on a lot of companies' uh, websites or wherever you go to purchase from, they'll call the, the light or the light color a certain temperature. So they'll call it a warm white, a cool white, a daylight. Now, it's not always, uh, the right idea to go off these terminologies, it's always best to go off the Kelvin. So the Kelvins will naturally be a 3000K for a warm white, a 4000 for a cool white, or around a 5000K for a daylight. So when purchasing uh, globes or color temperatures, make sure you go off the actual temperature, not the terminology, because some people might call a daylight a cool white and vice versa. So. Um, just be careful of that, always go off the Kelvins and stick to that. Uh, there's a little uh, graph below you'll see in the description um, that'll outline that a little bit further. Uh, I'll just show you quickly the differences with this, this fitting here I have. Okay, so this one here at the moment is set on daylight. So you can see there it's got a nice little blue tinge about it. It's literally the color of a daylight outside a nice sunny day. Now if we go down to a cool white, it's got that slight yellow tinge about it, but it's still nice, bright, white, natural kind of look. And then if I go down one more, that's the warm white. So it's a more of a yellow tinge, much more relaxed, calming mood. Um, so areas you might want to use the warm white um, would be, say, a bedroom, um, a living area, you know, weddings, as I said, restaurants, cafes, your outdoor gardens, spike lights, uh, entries and hallways, and more so just traditional applications. And then we have cool white. So the cool white is a much more natural, brighter feel. So if you want something a bit more lively, uh, more modern feel, so if you've got a nice modern house or apartment, you might want to go the cool white, the 4000K. Uh, it just gives off a nice brighter light. You can see things a lot clearer. Um, in certain areas, it's definitely better. So if you had a home office, you can see your work area better. Uh, very good for bathrooms. You'll notice a lot of bathrooms will have 4000K. So if you're shaving or doing your makeup, you can actually see a lot clearer. So the cool way is a good option if you're unsure as well. Uh, it's got the best of both worlds. So it has a bit of warm tinge to it, but still bright white light. So in certain areas, you might want to use the cool white would be, again, bathrooms, toilets, laundries, garages, studies, commercial applications, or ultra-modern applications. Now the next one is the daylight. So the daylight, you need to be careful. Uh, you should only really use this in certain applications. Some people will swear by it, but it's very, very harsh. It can actually create headaches. Um, a lot of offices will use it. The daylight will naturally work with your brain to keep it more alert and awake. So that's why you'll see in a lot of hospitals, uh, offices, it just keeps you, keeps you alert. It's hard to get tired when you're around a, a daylight um, beaming in your eyes. So daylight needs to be used very carefully. Uh, certain applications you'd use it on would be uh, garages, hospitals, offices, anywhere where there's a high work area. So yeah, end of the day, color temperatures are a personal preference. Uh, certain applications will definitely suit better than others, but it's up to you entirely which application you want to use your temperatures on. Uh, some people swear by the warm white, it gives a nice soft calming effect. Think of a candlelight, um, nice warm color. And then some people swear by the cool white, they're more lively and they want to be up more and about. Um, and then also think of uh, actual temperatures. So if you want to have a cooler feel for your home, uh, you could look at a cool white and then if you want a warmer feel around your home It tends to give off a warmer feel as well. So in them harsher warmer climates It's good to have a cool white uh, and then the cold ones yeah, have a nice warm white So hope that wraps everything up all the links are below for the blogs if you want to read more into detail and uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time